Welcome back here with us on Trading Hour and it is time to talk commodities. Manisha is here with us as always. Manisha, great to be chatting with you on air as well today. What do you have for us? Good to have you back, Sirvi. It's good to be talking on air and off air both in the <laughs> office. Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> but gas prices is what I'm looking at. And you know, the last four weeks have seen constant decline in case of gas prices. And that is because the northern hemisphere temperature this time around has been above normal. This has been the warmest winter that uh, northern hemisphere and US, etc. have seen in last two decades. Now that seems to be changing. And even as we are heading into the last week of January here, the expectations are that the next fortnight could see a below normal temperatures in the northern hemisphere and the demand actually could go up and so could be the heating oil and the natural gas prices. So there is some support coming in because of that. We did see prices decline to $3.11 per gallon, but now we're looking at 3.4 coming back on screens right now. So 5% of a jump up is what we've seen this week begin with. We did see 5% of decline in the previous week. In last four weeks, we have seen the gas prices decline by 48%, but there is some support coming in now. The markets also believe that the withdrawal that we have seen in the month of January has been much lower than last year and much lower than the five-year average as well. And as far as the U.S. production goes, well, that continuously has been increasing. For 2023 as well, the expectation is that the U.S. production could increase by 2% to 100.3 billion cubic feet on a daily basis, and that will continue to put pressure on prices. The highs that we saw in previous year at almost $10 is something of a past, markets believe. And while may, we may have peaked out, the markets also believe that we may have bottomed out as well. And anywhere between 3 and a half to $5 is is where the natural gas prices could now range between in the next couple of months. All right, Manisha, thanks a lot for getting us that quick update on the natural gas prices as well as uh, the move. But with that, we're going to get into a short break now. It was a good quarter for Union Bank of India. So we're going to take a short break. But on the other side, we have a very interesting chat lined up.